Hey everyone, this is Paul, and welcome to Common Touch of Fantasy, and today's video is a request video. Um, a user requested that I talk about um, ebooks versus physical books, and my experience and my um, opinion on each. So let me first off say, um, ebooks, physical books, whatever preference you have, that's your own preference. Um, you're not less of a person if you read ebooks, and you're not less of a person if you read only physical books. Um, it's just a matter of opinion and a matter of taste. So do what you love and love what you do. Alright, so first off, I was a huge ebook user. Yes, I was a huge ebook user. This is my first ebook. It was a first generation Nook. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I read more with my ebook than I had previously for a long time. And I respect the fact that this got me back into reading. The Nook HD that I got a, uh, a couple years ago. Probably, well, it's been a while now. It's probably been three years now I got this. And I use that now for my ebooks. I like ebooks. I like reading from ebooks. I think the ease of reading from them is very um, easy. I like being able to hold it with one hand and be able to read it with just one hand. It makes positions that aren't possible to be re read in to be possible. What happened was I was sitting in a car one day and I was reading my Nook. And my family goes shopping, they like to go in places, get some exercise, look around and and do things in the store. I never go shopping. And I'm sitting there and I'm realizing that I haven't been in a physical store in probably three months. I haven't bought anything from a physical store in about three months. I'm thinking, well that's not really helping the economy at all in my area because I look around and all these different stores are being closed and I'm like well I what do I spend my money on you know I spend my money on books video games music and TV shows and movies and then I found out that all those things are now digital that I was giving all my money to um, Barnes and Noble online I was giving all my money towards like iTunes. I was giving all my money towards um, uh, Steam, and I wasn't giving any money to any place where I live. I was getting bored of staying home, or and also staying in the car and reading, because I really had nowhere to go. I had nowhere to look forward to going. Well, I saw this picture of this uh, Reddit user his library. He put up a picture of his library around this time. And it was amazing. Like I he has about a thousand books and all his bookshelves are has uh doors with glass casings and it is just beautiful. It just blew me away. I was like that's what I want. I want a library. My father has over a thousand books. He has a very extensive library for his uh career. And I loved looking at his books when I was a kid. There are two main reasons why I changed. One, I like the look of libraries. I think libraries are cool. I think looking at physical books and looking at them is pleasurable. I enjoy just looking at my shelves and checking out my books. I enjoy that. It might be superficial, but I don't care. I enjoy looking at my books. Also, um... I found that I have a joy, a love, a passion for going to bookstores, going to thrift stores, going to used bookstores, finding those books that are an awesome deal. I love to go to Goodwill and look at the used books. I love to go to used bookstores and look at their books. I absolutely love going to Barnes & Noble and looking at the actual books. I love to plan my vacation around going to a bookstore. So, for example, last summer I went out to Illinois to visit family. I planned stops along the way 
to go to bookstores. And I thought that was a lot of fun. I went to probably altogether maybe 10 different bookstores within a two week period. And it was amazing. Like, it was one of the best vacations I ever had. Just because I went to bookstores. <laughs> I think that buying new books is definitely uh, important. I do buy a lot of new books to help support the authors. I've been buying more new books lately since I've been on U on BookTube. Um, I just think buying new books is important because you support the author the most when you buy new books. But I like buying used books too. I like getting those deals. I like getting books cheaper than if you bought them on, on ebook. So, and also another reason why I buy physical books is because I started to collect books. So here we have a signed edition of Magician's Land by Lev Grossman. And I have probably like 12 or 13 signed books. And I think that's cool. I like to have signed books. I want to have a book collection. I think it's really cool and it's a lot of fun. It's something that I'm passionate about. And, and honestly, I want bookstores. I want used bookstores. I do not want to see them close. I don't want to see them go away. And what's great about it is I can do it by myself. I can take a ride an hour away, go to a bookstore, and it's a great Saturday afternoon for me. I enjoy it so much. I will I will not download illegal ebooks. And you should not either. It is taking money away from authors. It is hurting them financially. The authors are not making as much money as you guys think they do, or so, that some people think they make. Even lower tier, mid tier authors, you know, they aren't making that much money. They're having to work a nine to five job. So before you download an ebook illegally, you know, think about that. You are basically stealing money from their family. So thanks for watching. Um, in the comments below, I'll talk about like what your journey was with books. Um, do you buy mostly physical books? Do you mostly buy ebooks? Or what is it that you prefer? Thanks for watching.